well, on dimensional, the dimensional E bodies is at more challenging conditions. Therefore, there are some primers that I would say that every clinician should realize. Number one, if uh, a patient with Parkinsonism um, has very early in the disease cognitive decline, possibly the diagnosis of dimensional E bodies need, need to be considered, and vice versa. Somebody with cognitive decline that develops very early Parkinsonism, then the diagnosis needs to be revised. Another primer, ask always about dream and acumen behavior disorder. The presence of dream and acumen behavior disorder with cognitive decline alone should make you ring a bell about the possibility that disease dimension will bad. Another important point, treat the, the most bothersome symptoms. Usually patients are having a list of symptoms because this condition is much more complicated and much more complex, but there are two or three that are the most bothersome. So usually memory decline, hallucinations, Parkinsonism, those are the worst. Don't be stingy, treat that. Make sure that you treat Parkinsonism with the best medications, usually carbidopa, levodopa, um, and memory loss with anticholesterase inhibitors, hallucinations with what you have available. Very important not to use typical antipsychotics. So Haldol, Zyprexa, they should not be used in this condition ever. And this is very important, especially when patients are declining, are going to the nursing home, and uh, the, the family physician or the physician on call uh, deals with an agitated patient, and they start to use Aldol, which is a great medication, Aloperidol, but because also can be injected, but is not indicated in this condition. If agitation is a problem, and a, a typical antipsychotic. So, uh, quetiapine, cloz, clozapine can be used, and more recently, uh, prevancerine, a new drug that has been recently adopted that can be used for hallucinations. So, it's very important to consider this point in the treatment. And another important consideration is uh, what is the prognosis? The prognosis is very, uh, depends a lot on the single individual. So it's very important that you tailor that according to what you see. Other important question that people may ask, is this genetic? The short answer is no. The long answer is that we don't know yet. Uh, the current data on genetics on DLB are scattered. We haven't yet found a lot of information on that. There are some genes that can be involved, but they are not yet clearly identified. So uh, if you use Parkinson's disease, the, which is a similar condition, we can say that if somebody is having a blood relative First degree blood relative with dementia related bodies is or her risk of having dementia related bodies is higher compared to uh, somebody who is not having this condition. But more than that is hard to say. Another important point and observation remember that there are differences between men and women in dementia related bodies, in Parkinson's disease, that needs to be considered. So even in dementia related bodies, men and women seem to have some, some sort of difference in the number of cases. There's much more men than women, and also in some of the clinical characteristics uh, of dementia related bodies. So it's important to consider this as well. 